Building healthy out-of-school time. Getting started with simple tools and resources. Out-of-school time programs can help children stay healthy for a lifetime. Whether you are a staff member that coordinates before school activities, an administrator for an after-school program, or serve as a parent volunteer during the summer, you have the power to improve the life of a child. My name is Daniel, and for the next few minutes, we're going to explore a few first steps you can take to create healthy out-of-school time. Don't forget, this is a marathon, not a sprint. It's important to set a strong foundation that will ensure your efforts will be long-lasting. Out-of-school time is exciting. It's a place for passionate adults to use high-quality, creative activities to help young people thrive. Throughout this lesson, we'll celebrate the great work you're already doing. We'll share ideas for how you can build on those successes. And you'll leave with solid next steps for taking action. Before we get started, you'll need a blank sheet of paper and a pen. As you know, many things go into creating a healthy out-of-school environment, and it may feel overwhelming. Look at this list. Which words stand out to you? Nutrition, parent, environment. Take a moment and reflect. Which of these items are highest priority for you? Which of these are highest priority for the out-of-school time site where you work? Are they the same? For me, the word that stands out is children, because children are the reason we do this hard work. Frequently, we are so focused on programming and scheduling that we forget to pause and remember how important the work we do truly is. Let's look back at the different components of healthy out-of-school time. More than likely, your out-of-school time site is already doing great things to support healthy eating and physical activity. Perhaps you already serve an after-school meal. Perhaps you have policies that encourage staff wellness. Perhaps you encourage children at your program to be more active. Perhaps you're already engaging families. Let's do a quick activity. Take your sheet of paper, draw a big circle off to the left side. Now in the middle of the circle, write down something your program does to help children eat better or move more. There are no right or wrong answers. Just write down something you're proud of. Great job! The goal of this lesson is to help you build on that success. Now take your sheet of paper and draw a long, two-sided arrow on it toward the bottom. On the left side, label the arrow a lot. On the right side, label the arrow a little. To make it easier for out-of-school programs to encourage healthy eating and physical activity, the National After School Association has adopted a set of healthy eating and physical activity quality standards. You may have heard of these standards. They're also called the HEPA standards. HE stands for healthy eating, and PA stands for physical activity. The standards include recommendations for content and quality, staff training, nutrition education, social support, organizational support, and environmental support. All of those things that contribute to healthy out of school. For this lesson, we'll focus mainly on the content standard for physical activity and healthy eating. Remember, this is a marathon we have to pace ourselves. Let's go back to your arrow. Make an X on the arrow, depending on how much you already know about the National After School Association standards for healthy eating and physical activity. Don't worry if you mark a little. This lesson will get you started on this journey. Now look back at the circle you drew and the success you identified. No matter what you wrote in your circle, the National After School Association standards for healthy eating and physical activity can help you build on that success and create more momentum. If you're ready, let's take a look at a couple of the standards. 
Here's a question. How many minutes of daily physical activity does the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services recommend for adults and children? At least 30 minutes, no more than 2 hours, or 60 minutes? If you answered 60 minutes, you're right. And the first physical activity standard encourages out-of-school programs to support this recommendation. Whether that happens through short bursts of physical activity distributed over the entire program period or a big chunk of time, the important thing is that out-of-school time becomes active time. So why is physical activity so important? Read the sentence on the screen and fill in the blanks. You got it. Regular physical activity has been proven to provide many positive outcomes for children, in addition to improved fitness, including higher test scores, increased concentration, reduced anxiety, improved self-esteem, and better behavior. This is great information to share with coworkers, parents, and community members to build support for increased physical activity. If your program traditionally focuses on homework and academic enrichment, how might adding opportunities for physical activity support what you're already doing? Let's think about how you might include more physical activity. The Alliance for a Healthier Generation has created an easy-to-use resource. We call them roadmaps to share recommended resources, initial action steps, and even ideas for engaging youth leaders. You can find this in the Out of School Time section of our web page. Now that we have talked about the first physical activity standard, let's look at the first healthy eating standard. When we talk about healthy eating, I encourage you to think about all of the places where food might be. Perhaps snacks, meals, vending, on-site stores, or markets come to mind. But don't forget about fundraisers, rewards, and celebrations. But what does healthy even mean? Nutrition advice is everywhere. So how do we decipher the correct information from misinformation? Even more, how do we use that information to create healthy out-of-school time? The Alliance for a Healthier Generation Evidence-Based Guidelines and the U.S. Department of Agriculture Guidelines are two supports. This standard encourages out-of-school time sites to follow these guidelines and be intentional that all foods provided are as healthy as possible. Like physical activity, there is a roadmap on the Alliance website that will help you understand these guidelines and access resources to help you choose the healthiest products and access federal nutrition programs if your site is not already taking advantage of them. Congratulations! Our lesson is almost over. We just discussed the content and quality standards for healthy eating and physical activity. I hope you're proud of what you've learned. Now let's do one final activity. Our last activity will help you identify concrete next steps. Take your worksheet and draw three lines on the right side of the page. I encourage you now to write down three very specific and realistic next steps. Perhaps you're going to explore more on the Alliance for a Healthier Generation website. Maybe you're going to share this recorded lesson with a colleague. You could even download a roadmap to learn more about potential resources for healthy eating or physical activity. Whatever action steps you write down, make them as specific as possible and take action immediately. Thank you again, and remember, this work is about continuous improvement, celebrating success, and building on what you're already doing. It's important to be creative and learn what works and what doesn't work. And don't forget, this is a marathon and we're running it together. We are teammates in ensuring that our children live the longest, healthiest lives possible.